Hello everyone! Thank you so much for joining me tonight. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time and it's a time where we can relax and craft together for about an hour here in the evening. And today is Finish It Friday, so the first Friday of every month we take some time away from what we're working on and I pull out a project that I haven't worked on in a while and I work on that instead. So finish it Friday, first Friday of the month. Uh, today though, I'm doing the exact opposite of that. I'm actually starting a new project. I'm deciding that I'm finishing it though because I've picked out the fabric and something needs to be made out of it. So it's an unfinished project. <laughs> And I am, oh yes, I am on location today at my mom and dad's house. Uh, so it might look a little different than, uh, well, first of all, different than usual, but different than when I'm usually working here. I am not in my mom's sewing room. I am in the kitchen uh, where I have the cutting board, uh, uh, the cutting table laid out here in the kitchen. It's just a nicer place to, place to cut fabric. And that is what we're going to be doing today. So uh, we are going to, here we go, work on... A uh, project from this book. It's the Missouri Star block series of books that they have. I put a link to the digital version of this book if you wanted to get it. But we are going to be starting uh, this project here. It is the Triangle Tango Quilt. And it is just so adorable. So this is about a king size quilt, I think, which is kind of crazy big, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> like I need another huge quilt, but we're gonna we're gonna make it. So this is what I'm starting. Uh, the reason why, oh, Barbara, you got the pattern, awesome. Oh, Gretchen, you got it too. Uh, so the reason I am uh, doing this, this particular pattern, is because I went to Missouri Star uh, Quilt Co. Missouri Star Quilt Co. Uh, a couple days ago and I bought the cutest fabric ever and uh, I need to make something out, out of it immediately and I saw this quilt hanging up there and what I like about it is that the triangles are big enough that it's going to show off the fabric and I wanted to show off this fabric. I didn't want to cut it up into a bunch of tiny little pieces. So uh, that is, uh, that's, it seemed like a perfect uh, pattern for this particular for my for my fabric and I'll show you guys my fabric again um, so one thing about this pattern if you've gotten this pattern and you've read through it here you go here's like the first part of it it is actually made out of uh, basically two layer cakes and a few more fabrics so a layer cake is a 10 inch square of fabric and then a whole stack of them. So typically a stack of 42 uh, 10 inch squares. So you're supposed to have a, a stack of 42 10 inch squares of your pattern fabric and then a stack of 42 10 inch squares for your background fabric. I don't have any of that. <laughs> so I have to make my own. I just got a bunch of half yard cuts of this fabric without really knowing what I was gonna make. So tonight I'm gonna be cutting all the fabric so I have it ready. and. One of the things, I don't actually have enough fabric for the 10 squares. So I'm going to have to construct some half square triangles in a different way just to make up for the rest of the half square triangles that I'm not going to be able to get from those 10 inch squares. And for that, I'm going to show you, this is from that slotted trimmers that I got, but there are instructions on the back to make some half square triangle units, which is this right there out of strips of fabric, and I'm gonna have just enough fabric for that. So uh, I'll show you kind of how I'm meaning to do that. And we're just gonna have a day of cutting here, and you know what, I think I might work on this on Monday too. So Monday I'll be back at my, um, in my kitchen again, <laughs> and uh, I think we'll get to sewing. Uh, but tonight we're gonna be cutting, and we're gonna be cutting on my mom and dad's table here. <laughs> So, all right, I'm gonna flip you around. Hopefully this works. I have a different setup here, so bear with me for a sec here. I'm gonna flip over and then we're going to uh, get started on this. Hold on here, you guys. All right, here we go. Bzoop. All right, here is some of my pretty fabric. 
Okay, hold on here. Let me tighten you up. Okay. All right, I think we got it there, you guys. If we fall, we fall. <laughs> All right, so I'm on my mom's kitchen table right here, my mom and dad's kitchen table, and she has, this is her cutting board, and it's just taped uh, to the table, and so it's a nice big uh, cutting area. So here are my fabrics. Uh, look how cute these are. So little sunshines. And uh, these stars are just adorable. We got the, they're all upside down here, but I'll turn them in a sec here. I can turn them right now. So these little cute little uh, rainbows, the moons, they are just so freaking cute. So each of these triangles is going to end up being about six and a half inches. So it's like that. So this is a good enough amount to show off the fabric, right? You know, I'm not, I'm not cutting them really small so you don't know what's happening. We're going to get a good chunk of the fabric here, so that's going to be nice. So, all right. How we're going to start out. So, like I said, I do not have 10-inch cuts of this. I have half-yard cuts. So, all of these are a half of a yard, which means it's approximately 18 inches, although I think they were pretty generous. Oh yeah, so a lot of these are about 20 inches. Gosh, I could almost get all the pre-cuts out of here. But you know what, I'm gonna do it this way just in case. So in theory, a half of a yard is, you know, 36 inches divided by two, so it's about 18 inches. And then the width of the fabric, which in most quilting cottons like this is about uh, 42 inches. So if I cut one this way, the width of the fabric, and uh, uh, that should get me four squares. So that's, I think, how we're going to go about doing this. I'm going to get four squares uh, for that 10-inch uh, layer cake. And you guys, look, I did all the math beforehand because you know how math works <laughs> this late at night. So what I need is, um, out of those, I have eight different fabrics here. And uh, that's going to get me, out of these eight fabrics, that's going to get me 32 of my 10-inch squares. So I'm actually shy by about 10 squares. And that's where we're going to use this uh, technique. Oop, here, let me turn. This technique here uh, for uh, the remaining half-square triangles that I'm going to need. <laughs> yeah, you were just going to say math, Gretchen. I know, exactly. I have it all figured out. So... Uh, again, if you are using the pre-cuts, the, the layer cake, those 10-inch squares, you can skip tonight altogether because you are done and ready to go. Um, we will need to cut some of the background fabric, but let's start here. So yeah, like here, I have all my white bits that I need to cut out and then my math <laughs> for, for the rest of it. So I think I have it figured out. We're going to start by um, cutting these down to the 10-inch squares. So I'm going to just flip it around so I can chop the selvage off. And I have eight fabrics here. I don't think I'll be able to cut through more than four. So I'm going to just divide it. Look how cute these little ponies are. Okay. So I did not press these. And the reason for that is because um, usually when it comes off the bolt, the fabric, it has um, that bolt is that cardboard that it's wrapped around. Uh, it has a nice fold in it. So they fold it first and then they wrap it around that cardboard. And I think that fold is going to allow me, you know, to cut more pieces at once. So we're going to, I didn't, I didn't press it for that. So I'm going to layer these one at a time. I do want to cut off this selvage, uh, the selvage, this little edge with all the little holes in. So I'm going to make sure that that selvage is kind of over one of these lines. Yeah, so I'm going to just line up all of my four layers here, one at a time. And I'm going to attempt to cut through these eight layers. So four, four fabrics folded in half, so it's, it's eight layers here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just first make a nice edge, and then I'm going to cut ten inches this way, and then we'll cross cut. So I'm going to have a big extra area on top, which is great, because we're going to need that later. 
So ultimately, if you look at this pattern, so another real easy way to think about this, if you are good at making half square triangles, I think you need 168 half square triangles that end up being six and a half inches. So that's um, one with a pattern and one with your background color to equal six and a half inches. So ultimately that's what we're going for. So there's lots of ways to get, get to the end of this. Um, you can start with the layer cakes. You can start like I am with just yardage. And again, I'm gonna have to, I have to add that extra step in here to get more half square triangles since I'm not gonna get them all this way. Oh my God, look how cute this is. Ugh, these smiley suns, they almost sparkle. I think they put like some white ink on here to make it pop a little bit more. Okay, cut off that selvage. That's priority one here. And my mom's got one of these mega ones. So this is uh, the 60 inch uh, rotary cutter. I forgot my gloves, so let's not cut my hand off tonight. Uh, but these are, this is that big version, the 60 inch for like lots of layers. Compare it to, uh, here's the normal 45 millimeter, not inch, millimeter. So this is the 45 millimeter and versus the 60 millimeter. You can kind of see the difference. This is what I normally cut on is this 45. Oh, this almost looks, the suns look almost 3D on your iPad. They are so freaking cute. All right, I'm cutting the salvages. Here we go, first cutter, first cut. Ugh, makes me nervous. Oh, this is pretty dull. I think we might use the other one. Yeah. All right, trying the 45. Oh yeah, this blade's much happier. There we go. This one has a, a safety. You know how I always put my safety on and off? How this safety works is it's a button. So now it's on, and if I just click the button, then the safety goes back on. All right, pretty salvages. Oh, you like your 60 uh, millimeter? My mom always also had, what is it, the 18 or 11 millimeter? Is that right? And I can't remember what size, but that's that itty bitty one, and she said that that works really well for piecing. All right, so we got a good edge here. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna actually rotate, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm gonna rotate all of this up. And now I want my 10 inch cut out of here. So what I'm gonna do first is align, we got a good cut on here. Ooh, I didn't really need to get that rid of the selvage right away. I think I should have done this cut first, but that's okay. So I'm going to just line up this edge as best I can. And we're gonna just trim, make sure all these are over the line. Yeah, I think I kind of did this out of order. We're gonna trim off just a good edge here. Yeah, I didn't need to do that selvage yet. Oh well, got ahead of myself here. All right, so I'm gonna trim this bottom edge. I'm going for that 10 inch square right now. With the next group, I'll do the um, selvage next. I'm going slowly. This is a so much bigger fabric than we've been cutting with the Splendid Sampler project. All right, so I got a good edge there. This is gonna be my 10 inch uh, piece again that I'm gonna cross cut into the four. So I get four 10 inch pieces. All right, so here is, my mom has a nice big, uh, I think this is like a 12 inch ruler. She has it taped off for a different project. I'm gonna mark just along the 10 inch. I'm gonna put that right along the edge. I just cut along the whole edge there, that's good. And then I'm doing that double ruler method. So here's my other ruler. I'm gonna put this right up against the side of the ruler. I know it's, we're kind of going off the screen a little bit, but that'll be fine. So holding this down, butting up the rulers next to each other like that. And then I'm just going to remove this ruler. I'm just gonna move it to the side and we'll cut this piece. 
I might tilt you guys up a little bit more. Okay. So here is our first stack of 10, a 10 inch width piece that we're gonna cross cut to the four. But for now, I'm gonna put this to the side because we're gonna make that extra cut on here. And uh, I'm gonna show you what I mean here. So like I said, I'm not gonna have enough half square, or I'm not gonna have enough half square triangles for the quilt with the amount of fabric I bought uh, by doing the 10 inch squares. So I need to do more, more half square triangles. I actually need to do, oh, how many more? I think, let's see, how many more did I need to do? 128, I needed 168. So I need to actually do 40 more half square triangles than what I'm gonna get out of the 10. So I was gonna do this, this method. So check this out. So this is a block cutting technique. So here's what we're gonna do. See how this, this is a strip of fabric and it's sewn along the top and along the bottom. So it's the pattern fabric, a strip of the pattern fabric, and then underneath it is going to be a strip of our white. So we're going to sew those two pieces together. And then if we take this ruler, you know, our ruler here, and if we cut this way, you know, this is, this is a sewn edge right here, and we'll have another sewn edge down here. We'll cut this way, and then when we unfold that, we're going to have ourselves a half square triangle, right? So I'm going to do a strip so that I can do one this way, then we'll turn it around and we'll do one this way because it'll be sewn on the bottom. And then we'll do another one this way. And I think we'll be able to get five, if I did my math right, we'll get be able to do five out of here. So what I need to measure really is from the bottom of this fabric because we'll have a quarter inch seam allowance all the way kind of to the top. And I measured it and it's about five inches. I'm gonna add just another half inch on the top just to make sure I have enough. So all I'm gonna do is with the rest of this fabric, I'm gonna cut a five and a half inch strip. Then the rest is scrap. Um, so this is gonna be really fun. I've never done this technique before. We will sew on Monday and we will do this technique. So I'm, I'm excited to give this a try. And it turns out I will have exactly the right amount. So, all right. So five and a half inches, we're gonna get that much more out of here. Okay, and we need to do the same for the white fabric when we cut the white fabric. But I'm, I'm kind of stoked for that. All right, I might need a little smaller ruler here. Let's scooch over. One, two, three, four, five and a half. Again, I think five is plenty. It is actually like, four point, you know, nine, five inches or something crazy like that. Uh, so the five would have been fine, but it makes me a little nervous. So we're making it a little bit bigger just so um, we don't mess it up. So one, two, three, four, five and a half. Oh my God, these suns, like all of these patterns just make me so happy. This, I'm, this is a happy purchase, that's for sure. And uh, one that I needed to, turn into a quilt right away so I can keep playing with, with these fabrics. Okay, so now just so I don't get confused, I'm gonna roll up this stack. This is, this is my excess. So we got a ton here and maybe we'll put it in the back of the quilt, um, but I'm gonna set that aside. And this, we're gonna leave these long strips. So I'm done with these for, for the night. So we got our pretty five inch, oh gosh, these are cute. Our five and a half inch strips here. I'm gonna lay that over a chair. All right, and uh, you know what? Since we have them here, let's just finish the process. I need to cross cut these so I get four cuts out of here. So let's turn this way now so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, I probably need to trim that edge again um, just cause I, I should have waited till now. I uh, should trim that 10 inch first. So I think, you know what? This is plenty fine. I'm calling this square. 
we're gonna call this uh, a straight edge and a straight edge. So let's let's do our 10 inches. I'm cutting um, from this way instead of from the folded side, just because I think we'll have extra fabric left that I wanna keep. So all right, 10 inches. Okay, now I'm freaked out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. <laughs> Never trust these rulers. I don't know. I'm always afraid that I'm gonna do one like an inch on the wrong side or like the numbers are marked on the wrong side. I don't know. If you guys are just popping in, we are doing um, this Missouri Star. Uh, from the Missouri Star. This is, uh, it's Fall Volume 1, Issue 5. There is a link to the digital version of this whole entire book, and we are going to be doing this quilt out of these freaking cute fabrics. So this is a Finish It Friday, which in this case means we're starting a whole new project. <laughs> uh, so there's a link if you wanted to make this with, with me. I am going to work on this on Monday, I think. Maybe we'll work on it all week even. How about that? <laughs> I'm going to want to just keep working with these fabrics, I think. Oh, see, now this, if you multiply this by 45 or 42 pieces, this is what a layer cake is. So when you hear quilters, you know, sometimes they'll say things like, oh, it's a jelly roll or a, you know, a charm pack. This is a layer cake. A it's just a stack of 10 inch squares. And that's what we're making. That's actually what this pattern calls for. And uh, um, I just, I didn't buy a layer cake. I bought yardage. So we are stuck with yardage that I now need to cut into this. So we're gonna just trim. I'm doing the same thing. I'm a little further over here. Oh, and uh, I'm on location tonight. I'm at my parents' house. It was a beautiful, beautiful drive down here. All right, so this is all I have left. So only, um, you know, and then this is on the fold. So I have about maybe three inches worth of a little bit too. I can't unfold this, there we go. So I got a little, this is plenty to make something else cute, but look, here's a little smiley sunshine. They're so sweet. Look at these stars, oh my God. All right, so that is also scrap. I'm gonna put that on my scrap pile. We might add that to the back as well. All right, so we are halfway done with what we have for the layer cake. So I'm gonna do that whole process again um, for the remaining four fabrics. So this was four fabrics and we have the other, the other four. Oh, and you guys, as an interlude, <laughs> look at, my mom finished her splendid sampler quilt. So this is completely done. This is her splendid sampler quilt and they are just, look at, look at that little guy. They're adorable. But uh, so this is completely quilted. She did the quilt as you go process, kind of like how we're doing, which means it's just gonna be done, right? So she's, she's completely done. It's bound. Look at all the crazy, awesome quilting going on in here. But what I wanted to show you guys, this has been washed as well. So take a look at, oh, here we go. So here is that Happy Trails block. And my mom used that Craftex paper. So that's the same paper that we use. She has a different color here, but this has gone through the wash. And look at how the hair, the mane curled up. And isn't that just the cutest, like it looks perfect for this horse. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. So this is after going through the wash. So it has held together. We are worried about that. And look, it does look like leather now. See, after going through the wash, you can see all those little kind of wrinkles that make it look like leather. I mean, I thought this was leather. I thought she had found a piece of leather and the, did this with it. But uh, so the Craftex, it kind of curled up and it just looks, it's just so textural. But I wanted to make sure to show you guys that because we were wondering about how the craft text was gonna um, work afterwards and it looks totally amazing. <laughs> I'm, I couldn't be like happier with that. That's just really cute. So that is mom's quilt all done. Uh, I'll have to take a big picture and put it on the, on the facey pages 
later. All right, let's do the rest of this fabric. Cute, cute again. All right, so this time I'm just gonna start by cutting the 10 inches. I don't know why I didn't do that to start out with. All right, so let's get the fold down here. So we're gonna trim off the edge and uh, then we'll, once I have the 10 inch piece, then we'll cut the selvage off. These moons are pretty. They're all pretty. You're gonna hear me talking about how cute this fabric is for the next week. So like I said, if you are starting with the layer cakes, all you're gonna have to do is cut the strips of fabric. So we're gonna need to cut like about 70 strips of white fabric. Um, we'll get that to that tonight too, hopefully. And uh, you'll have to do that yet for the background. But if you have the layer cakes, the two layer cakes, one for the patterns and one for your background color, then you can like skip all of this, which would be pretty awesome. But you know, cutting allows you to look at all your cute fabric again, which is fun. All right, one more. Oh, look at this one. This is the sunshine, but on the dark color. That's really pretty. Okay, so we're gonna trim that edge. And then we'll, we'll cut the 10 inches again, and then we'll trim off the selvage and then cut the four. Oh, and then we'll get that extra five and a half inches again too. Man, we're gonna get through this so quick, cause, and then we're gonna be moving on to the white. Um, I'll show you the other color that I'm gonna use. Um, not for the background, although it was in the running, but I'm gonna use it for the back fabric and the binding, and I think it's gonna be awesome. So I'll show you guys that next. Oh, I think I might have showed you that yesterday, but I'll show you again. All right. Couple little, another nice little pieces. All right, so here's the 10 inches. Get my ruler up here again. Okay. 10 inches. Get that cut nice and straight. All right. Scooch that just a little bit out of the way, and we'll do the cut. Again, I'm cutting through the eight layers of fabric, just because I happen to have eight fabrics here. It would have been nice if I had, what did I need? I think I needed like two more, and then, then I would have had enough without doing, um, having to do that extra way of doing the half square triangles. But, you know, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, when I got, when I got these, um, this is that slotted trimmers. I still have to return it yet. This is the one that I broke or that, you know, came broken. I tried to pull it out and it was broken. Uh, but this is the, um, that technique that looks so interesting. So I'm actually glad that we get a chance to give that a try. So that'll be Monday for sure. I'm itching to do that. All right. So I'm going to just, I'm going to leave this. So I'm going to be a little off screen here, but we're going to do five and a half more inches for that strip. Might as well do that now so I don't have to move this. One, two, three, four, five and a half. I haven't checked out, like I haven't gone online to see what the rest of this collection looks like. Cause I'm sure it's a full collection. They didn't have all the bolts of fabric for it. So it must be like an older collection, but it was so adorable. And I'm, I'm curious what the rest of the patterns are and the rest of the colors. Okay. There we go. So here are all my extras. Again, we got a, a pile of extra, so I can use that for, again, maybe the back or part of a border or something. I don't know yet. Um, and then here is the, these are the five inch strips again. So those are for the back. Maybe I should, why don't we cut this selvage off right away? I did on the other one, so let's, let's do it here too. Let's see, it's all pretty matched up. We'll go right here. All 
All right. Cute. So there we are. There's that all ready to go. So those are done, waiting for tomorrow. And now we'll do the rest of our kind of layer cake here. I'm gonna just rotate it around. So now we're gonna cut off the selvage and then I'm gonna cut the two tens. I think um, this is Robert Kaufman. So this is uh, all these suns and the stars and moon, that's all Robert Kaufman. But the, um, the little, uh, those, uh, those horses, that horse fabric, that is a Moda fabric. And I couldn't read, I couldn't read the designer on one of them. Like it was just printed funny. I think on this one I can read. I'll have to check who um, these stars are again. I just haven't looked it up, but I'll have to do that because they're just so cute. All right, uh, 10 inches and 10 inches. This is going a lot faster than I thought to cut these 10 inch squares. So that makes me happy. We're just kind of getting at, you know, level one for this. I mean, we, we're, we're getting to the starting line. <laughs> like I said, in the instructions, we in theory have all these 10 inch squares ready to go already, but gotta get that far. All right, first stack and scooch on down. This double ruler method is working great tonight for this. Need to get a nice big square ruler like that, I think. All right, so here is our excess from there. We'll save that. Okay, that is it for our uh, our cute little um, stack of fabric here. So here we go. So this is basically our layer cake minus about 10 squares. So if you were to buy a layer cake, which again is 10 inch squares, a stack of 42 10 inch squares, it would look a whole lot like this. Um, maybe with a cute label on or something. Um, but in theory, it would have at least 10 more fabrics in. And that's what we're missing. So uh, we will be able to get four half square triangles out of this plus our background fabric. So we're gonna have a stack of our pattern fabric like this and another stack of our white fabric, our 10 inch squares of white fabric. And we're gonna put two together. We will sew around the edges all the way around. And then we're gonna cut it in half diagonally and then we'll have one, two, three, four half square triangles when we when we open them up with the other fabric. So this is a different way than half square triangles than what we've been doing. Uh, but it's a fun, quick way of doing it. So I'm, I'm excited to give that a go. And then since, like I said, we are 10 shy of this, which means since we can get four out of one of these uh, and we're 10 shy of these, that means we're actually 40 shy, math, on, um, the half square triangles, and that's why we cut these extra strips. I'm gonna get the remaining half square triangles out of here. And again, that will be with, with the ruler. So I'm gonna cut, I have my triangle ruler. So they need to be six and a half inches, and this has that six and a half inch mark. I will sew these together and we'll get, by going crisscrossing back and forth, we're gonna get those extra extra 40 triangles that we need. I actually have exactly the amount of fabric to get the extra 40. So that's, that was a nice coincidence. All right, so that's done. Uh, now we need to do the white. So the white is my background. So here's the kicker with this. I ran out of my nice white fabric that, you know, comes off the bolt. That's the 42 inches, like our nice, our nice fabric that's like this. What I do have, I, I use this for embroidery, so it has a little bit bigger weave, but I, this is only 36 inches wide, which is much shorter than a normal quilting weight fabric. So I have the extra layer of math that I have to do to see how many strips I have to cut of this 
to equal a 42 inch width of fabric um, bolt, if that makes sense. So I have a short bolt here, so I gotta cut more. And that's where my math comes in. So for this 36 inch one, we need to equal the amount we have here. So we have 32 squares. So I need to get 32 squares out of here. So to do that, since it's 36 inches, I need 11, 11 10 inch cuts out of this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start unrolling this bolt and we're gonna just cut 10 inch strips off of it until we can't anymore. So let's get this out of the way. You know what, I think I'm gonna unroll this way. Scooch some things. All right. So here's where we're gonna be cutting and cutting and cutting the white. But look how cute this is gonna look with um, the white with these different patterns on top of it. Like it's just gonna be so sweet. They're just gonna pop out of it. Oh, and while I have this out here, what I'm gonna do for the backing fabric, I have this bright, bright green. <laughs> so this is gonna be the back of the fabric and it's gonna be the binding. So if you imagine just like the little bit of binding that you see around the quilt. And not a lot of this has green, but the little horsies do. If I can find the little, little ponies in here. There we go. See this, these have that same color green in it. So I think this is gonna be like the vibe of the quilt. And then the entire back is gonna be this bright, bright green because I have just a bunch of it and it'll be, be a good way to use it up, that's for sure. All right. Let's cut a pile of 10 inch squares. So I'm gonna try and keep my fold aligned with the top there. All right, this is where this is where the monotonous part comes in. We are going to we need to cut 11 of these. And you guys, after this, we have to cut two and a half inch strips cuz all of these have like a little border around them, around two sides of the half square triangles. And I think we need to cut like 70 or so of them. But the nice thing about this project compared to like the Splendid Sampler is we're cutting the entire quilt out right now. So we're just gonna kind of be done. All we need to do is sew and we'll be sewing the same thing over and over again. So it's gonna go really, really quickly. Oops, and I think, just gonna pull on this. There's that part of the uh, cutting board that's in the uh, hole, like in the, where you hang it on and uh, let's just scooch it down a little bit. I think I can just tear it. There we go. The cutter doesn't go in the hole there. All right, okay, I am tempted to just use the ruler, the cutting mat um, for my 10 inches. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, you know what, let's make this easy for us. I'm gonna just cut on the 10, 10 inch line. The nice thing about half square triangles is that we get a little leeway. Well, so what was your mom's splendid sampler one? Oh, so uh, Aaliyah, the, um, the one that I just shared, that is her second one. So that is the splendid sampler two. So she's done with the splendid sampler two. Um, she has the splendid sampler one here as well. But man, I was just looking at it uh, earlier and I'm like, oh my God, I haven't finished any of these blocks. <laughs> so I have so much more to do on my Splendid Sampler. It'll get done though. All right, so here are the first two. But yeah, that one, like that one with the horse, that was the Splendid Sampler too. All right, here is my first two. I'm gonna just throw it over a chair and you know what to avoid that to avoid that hole in the cutting mat on the edge here I'm going to go one inch over so I'm going to cut on the one 
the, oh, I'm not going to cut on the 1. I'm going to cut on the 11 and the 22, or the 21 now, I mean. All right. Again, I'm trying to line this edge. All right, we're going to need to cross cut all these yet as well. So I'm also just thinking we're going to have that big fold. Since I can only get three, three out of these, we're going to have a big fold in the middle. But we'll deal with that when we get that far. Okay, 21. Oh, you're thinking of doing the quilt as you go now. Oh my gosh. Aaliyah, that has turned out to be such an enjoyable process. The quilt as you go. Because it has been so nice to just quilt these tiny little squares instead of a whole honking big, big quilt. And... There's the extra benefit of that, like, you're done. <laughs> you don't, you know, once you finish all the squares and you've, you've been um, kind of quilting them as you, as you go, and it is just completed. You don't have to do the whole extra steps of, you know, sandwiching it together and, and all that stuff. It has been surprisingly just nice. <laughs> This one, however, I'm gonna not do quilt as you go, and it's just because I really wanna follow this pattern. And for the quilt as you go, at least how we're doing it, there's that little binding edge in between all the blocks, which is cute, but that's not in, in this pattern. So this one, unfortunately, I will be not doing quilt as you go. You guys, I think we can crank out this quilt top this week. I really do. Like if I, if we work on this um, next week a little bit, like maybe we just take a little bit, a little week off of the Splendid Sampler and we work on this instead, just for funsies. I think we'll have a quilt top. Like I think it's that easy of a quilt and that quick of a quilt, but you know, maybe I'm just, you know, putting my foot in my mouth by saying that, but we'll see. All right, two, four, six. This will be eight. So t I said 11. So actually we're almost, we're almost done with this part. That's, this is going fast too, you guys. Man, you, I'm just so used to the splendid sampler where you have to, uh, where everything takes ages to cut out. <laughs> This is actually going, you know, this is like cutting out a tiny six and a half inch block, but we we're going to have a king size quilt. That's a fun deal. All right, this is eight. We still need to cross cut these, so we'll do that next. All right, three more cuts like this. Oh, the name of the quilt is, uh, what is it? Triangle Tango? Let me look it up again. So it is from, and it, you guys can get this, this pattern. Uh, um, they have it digital. So this is from these Missouri Star Quilt Co. block uh, publications that they put out. Uh, it is the Triangle Tango quilt. So this is what it's going to look like. You can absolutely, Kathy, make it a queen. So all it is is a half square triangle with a border on the top and the side. That is it. And then it has a clever way of turning them so it looks pretty. So you can do, you can just do whatever size you want. So if you wanted to do a smaller size, I would just count the number of triangles and uh, make that many half square triangles. Uh, and then you can just make it whatever size you want. And actually, if you make it all and then lay it out and you don't want it so big, you could, these would make like great little pillows or extra little bits too. So yeah, so this is the uh, triangle tango quilt. It's on page 32, but you can see these are actually pretty big triangles and that's what I like about it. It's going to show off, um, it's going to show off the fabric. So if you have some pretty fabric with a pattern that you don't want to just chop up in a bunch of billion little pieces, um, I think I need to, eh, I'm afraid this is going to fall off the table. Um, then this would be just a really 
cute one. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Oh, two, four, six, eight. Okay. These two and then one more is all I need. And I'll have an extra, I'll have an extra square when I'm done. Extra square of white, which is fine. <gasps> yes, Aaliyah, that would be beautiful. Your Liberty stash. This would be an absolutely beautiful quilt to do with um, some Liberty fabric. Because that's the type of fabric you want to just show off. Because it's just so beautiful. All right, here's two. I need one more. And then we can start cross-cutting these. Just one, and then we'll have our 11. Um, I can get three out of each of these, and I need, I need um, 33, 32 total. So I'll have one extra. Okay. That's it. So we do have to make a pile of um, strips yet for those little borders. Okay. So here we have, we have the selvage on this side, so I'm gonna need to chop that off. So let's, uh, here, I'll go over here so you guys can see. We got a little shadow here, but that's okay. Um, so this is two. I'm not gonna be able to stack all of these at once, but we were able to cut through eight layers on those other fabrics. So let's see if we can cut. Well, let me think. I'm gonna have to open up these to trim them, ugh. I don't have an iron going, but we'll, we'll give it a go. I'll just open them up. So two, four, six, wait, two, four. Let's do two more. Let's see if we can do three more. Let's see if we can cut 12 at once. Oof, that's kind of a lot, but we'll do it. Okay. Wait, now how many did we do? Two for six. Eight. So we're basically making a layer cake, which is those 10 inch squares. Um, we're gonna do, um, let's do one more we're gonna make 32 of them. Also the turnovers that are triangles. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. That's right, you guys, I, I forgot. I need, those, I need those extra strips for those extra triangles. You are absolutely right. And I did the math on that. And even with this being 36 inches, I actually only need the 36 inches, not the 42 to get the five. So I need to cut, oh, I gotta look at my sheet again, but I need to cut, well, eight. I need to cut eight strips that are five and a half inches. You're right, I cannot forget that. Well, we got a whole pile of other strips that we have to do, so after we do these cross cuts, we won't have to, um, I can do those five. Those five and a half inch ones, I mean. All right, this, you know what, I'm gonna use just the markers on here again. So five to 15. All right. There we go. Here is one stack. Ugh. And then you guys, these I have to unfold. So that's gonna be a big pain. I think I'm gonna do that at the end. I'll, I'll unfold all of them at once. So let's, let's do our other cross cut ones first. Then we'll unfold all of those. But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm, I think we are gonna continue this next week. So we'll actually do the fun sewing part because I wanna do those, those extra border triangle things um, using my, um, that triangle cutter. I think that will be kind of a neat process that, I've, that I haven't done before. All right, that's six. 8, 10, 12. I think we're going to be able to do all the rest of them now. There's just two more. Oh, 
hopefully this was the right amount. This feels like not a lot, but I think we're good. The one thing I'm worried about is that this is a muslin fabric and I'm not, I'm not pre-washing them. So this is a different fabric that will probably shrink a little bit differently than the quilting weight fabric, that other, the high end, you know, quilting weight fabric. But we're just gonna deal. So uh, what that means is that it might just shrink a little bit differently, which will make like some poofs and puckers in the, in the wash. But I think that's gonna be actually kind of cute. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. And I didn't wanna buy a whole bolt of white fabric. Um, so we're just using what I have. <laughs> All right, four and 14 now. All right, so here's another stack of 10. Uh, I'm not using the, I'm not cutting off the folded area. Oh, the fold area for the five inch strips because I need a, I will be, I will be cutting um, on the fold off of the bolt for the five inch strips. I'm just not that far yet. All right, so here's a stack because I'm gonna need the full 36 length one to do, to do this technique. And again, it's that, I'll show you guys again once we're done, done here. But all right, now I need to lay these out like this and cut them, so that's gonna be annoying. So we'll just take some time to do this quick. And again, normally I'd probably wanna iron these, but if they're a little weird, we're just gonna deal. What is the cut? Eight by 13? Eight by 13, that's an odd cut of fabric. Usually like a fat quarter would be like 18 by 22. These are gonna be a little bit weird. I will press them before we sew them together. They might hang off a little bit weird cause they'll get a little bit bigger after I press them, but it's gonna be fine. I mean, we're gonna trim these half square triangles down. They're gonna be perfectly fine. Oh, you guys, I should just keep these folded. Okay, this is what you guys are talking about, isn't it? I'm gonna just keep these folded, match up the folds and then divide by two. I can just cut this to be five inches. Ah, well, you guys are smart. I'm just catch on later. All right, smarter than unfolding for sure. All right, let's just line them all up. Smart people. Oh yeah, fat eighths. They, they could be, those Liberty pieces could be fat eighths. You could definitely, you could definitely make um, some half square triangles out of there. So uh, in the instructions, you're finished. Like after you make the half square triangle, it should measure six and a half inches. So I'm not quite sure what the math on that would be with, with your fabric, but you know, eight inches is definitely large enough to get half square triangle out. All right, here's a stack. How many are these now? Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, we'll do one more, and then we'll do the other half. There, and then when I get when I get home, I will open these up and press them. So these need to be just another five inches, and then they'll be ten inches. There we go. That's some thinking. Oh, I'm glad I don't have to unfold all those. So this is gonna be extra. I'm not gonna need these, um, but again, I can use them in the back probably. All right, so I'm gonna unfold all these, but not right now. So I'm gonna just stick them, stick them on the top of my layer cake so I know that it um, goes with those. And I got a few more, I got this stack here. And I'm just lining up that fold. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's already 9.25. We've been here like an hour already. So um, I will probably, I'll cut the five and a half inch strips so I don't forget to do that. But we may have to cut the rest of this on Monday as well, but I think we'll still be able to sew on Monday. So I'll, I'll walk you through what I need to do here yet. Okay. Five. 
Okay, that's scrap. Okay, so our layer cake. So here's our white layer cake and our pretty adorable layer cake. Look how sweet these are together. Okay, so I'm gonna just stack those. Go like, well, we'll just stack. And now I need to make um, those strips, enough for all of these, and I believe I have eight. And let's just double check my math again too. My math sheet. I should be checking this off, so here we go. White, 10 inch squares, cut 11, so we end cross cut, we did that. Okay, so the five and a half inch, I need eight strips. And then you guys, what we aren't cutting out tonight, since it's late already, I need to cut all right, I'm gonna cut this tonight, but I need to cut 76 two and a half inch strips. Doesn't that sound crazy? That is so many strips to cut. Um, but then we need to cross cut those. We need 34 six and a half inch strips and I need 42, uh, or I need to out of 30, so they're out of those, I gotta divide it up. So 34 of those 76 strips I will cut into six and a half inch strips. So I'm gonna have, we're gonna end up with 168 of all of these. So we're gonna end up, in the end, we will have 168 half square triangles. And each of those half square triangles needs a six and a half inch border and an eight and a half inch border. So if I take 34 of my strips and I cut them to six and a half inches, I will have 168 six and a half inch strips. And if I take 42 of these two and a half inch strips and cut them to eight and a half, I will have 168. So that's how the 76 inch or the 76 strips get divided. And again, um, this is a little less if you're using 42 inch width fabric, I'm using that 36 inch. That will all make sense when we start cutting it up. Um, but all right, so I need eight five and a half inch strips yet. So let's just fold these up and uh, we'll get my bolt of fabric out here again. And eight of these, I said, right? Eight, five and a half. All right. Again, I'm gonna just use my Matt as a guide. So one, two, three, four, five and a half. Eight. So eight of these. So we'll cut these and then we'll call it an evening here. One, two, three, five and a half. And again, I cut these larger, so if they end up a hair smaller, we're gonna be okay. I think I really only needed to cut these to five inches, but again, I didn't wanna screw it up. Five and a half. Okay, that was three, one, two, three. I think I can do one more before I roll out more. Four, five and a half. Ugh, I'm excited about this. It's gonna go so fast, you guys. Okay, so that's four. Let's roll out and get another four, and then we're done. Well, we actually still need to do those 76 two and a half inch cuts, but um, we'll do that. We'll do that um, Monday. Actually, I may, I don't know. What do you guys think? If I have time while I'm um, here, should I just cut them out already so we're ready to go? Or do you want, do you want um, to cut them out? with me. You know what? I think, I think maybe we'll just do it together. That's how we always do stuff and it's nice. One, two, three, four, five and a half. Yep. 
Hey, Bobby. So yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I cut them out beforehand or do it on Monday? Um, five and a half. I have to say, I have to say it out loud, the measurement every time before I cut it. All right, let's do, cut them, you like watching? Okay. Yeah, Barbara, and you know, again, this is the part of the process that would be done if I had some layer cakes of, of these. Oh, I'm not gonna get them done now, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> that cutting, I think that cutting is going to take a, a little bit of time. So we need to make 76 cuts. That's going to, that might even take an evening. So I think we will work on this. Oh, Monday. You want it Monday. Oh, watching you therapeutic. How funny. Uh, yeah. So, so I won't do it. We'll do this whole entire project. I always feel weird when I do parts of the project without you guys. So we'll, we'll do it on Monday. I'll wait for Monday. Okay. Monday, Monday, Monday. All right. Perfect. Decision made. I will not do anything without you guys. Oh man, Amy, I don't, I, I, there's no, I don't know if I can cut out 40 or 76 pieces now, but here's my other four. Let's see where we're at though. I could cut out a couple, a couple. Let's see how, let's see how it goes. I can maybe stay a few more minutes, see how it goes. If it takes forever, then screw it but we'll see. All right, here is eight. So this is all I needed to finish um, to go with these. So here, just to show you what we'll be doing is I'll be taking one of these. So, you know, let's pretend I've unfolded it and I'll be taking one of these. All right, it's all over. All right, again, pretend it's unfolded. So I just have two layers, but I'll, you know, well here, I will unfold it. We'll put right sides together. And then I'm gonna sew on the top and I'm gonna sew on the bottom. And then I'm gonna get the triangle, which has disappeared. Here we go. So I'll sew a quarter inch on the top and I'll sew a quarter inch on the bottom. And then we're going to take this and put it on the, the six and a half inch mark, my sewn line. And I'm going to cut, zoop, zoop. And since it's sewn here, we'll be able to flip that open. And then I'm going to rotate it like this. We'll cut another one out. And since it's sewn at the top, we'll have that half square triangle and then et cetera. And we should be able to get five out of it so five per strip and then eight total, and that will get us our additional 10 or our additional 40 that we, that we need. So that's going to be the process of, um, of that. She does not have an AccuCut. So that I've never actually used one of those before. You know, I do have an AccuCut at home, you guys. I've never used it. Uh, we'll have to pull that out. Uh, I, have an, I think it's an AccuCut Go, which is a little smaller one. We're going to have to play with that one of these days because I've never used it. And I have some, some dies for it for some, for some squares. All right. So this is all ready to go for our making our half square triangle. So look at, look at all this fabric. We are all ready to cut. And so with this, um, yes, use it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, I'll break that out one of these days. I have never used it. I don't really, I, I get the concept of it. It's fairly easy. I just have never, never used it. All right. I want to give this a go quick. And I think again, I think I'm going to use my ruler or my mat as a guide, even though that freaks me out a little bit, but we're going to, we're going to do it anyway. Let's see how many we can cut in, in like 10 minutes here. All right. Two and a half inch strips. So I am just going to use, okay, you know what? Let's read the instructions. I think it's two and a half. Let's just double check. Double check this. Okay. 
two and a half inch strips. Okay, two and a half inch, the width of the fabric, and I need 76 of them. So I'm just gonna use the mat as my guide, which sometimes that's not the most accurate thing to do, but I'm doing it. As long as they're all the same, I suppose. Two and a half. Okay, one. Maybe this is gonna be fast enough. Maybe we should just finish. I think as long as there's basketball still on, I think I'm good. <laughs> the Bucks are playing. Three. <laughs> All right, four. I don't think I've ever cut 76 of anything out. This is just so many strips. Oh, you know, even if I cut all these out, we're not going to finish yet. I have to cross cut these to those six and a half inches and those eight and a half inches. So we're technically not going to, not going to finish tonight, but it would be nice. One, two, three, four, five. It would be nice to be off of the bolt here by, by the end of the night. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if we'll get there either. We'll go for another six minutes. How about that? <laughs> Just go for it, you're on a roll. All right, one, two, three, four by six. Oh, is that two and a half? Yeah. I, have a, I feel like I'm going to cut these to two inches by mistake. I keep losing count, too. We'll put them in stacks of ten once I have ten. Two, four, six, seven... Eight, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do 10 at once. How about we do seven? So that's a stack of seven, um, just because I'm gonna need more room to roll out fabric. So if we do 10 stacks of seven, then we'll have 70 and then we can do six more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yep, so this is seven. So this is our first stack. Oh, you don't have to cross cut. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. I can just, you're right, Jennifer. I can, I can just sew right after each other. You're absolutely right. So uh, there is a way to, you know how we chain piece everything. So we, we sew, we sew a piece and then we just start sewing the next piece right after. We can do that by just leaving these as strips. So we'll sew our half square triangle. Let's say the half square triangle is this big. It's gonna be bigger, obviously. Um, but instead of cutting it, having cut pieces, we can just stick the next one right after it, and then we can cut them all afterwards. So we could do it that way. Then we'd, we'd get sewing right away. I mean, eventually we would have to trim them, but um, yeah, I think we could maybe do it Quite a bit faster that way. That's a good point. Then we would get to start sewing. That would be fun. Okay, so we're gonna do another seven. This is still kind of a lot to cut, but well, I'll keep going till they yell at me upstairs. How about that? I think we'll go to 9.45. This is gonna take a little while yet, so let's let's just uh, do a little bit more. All these crazy cuts. Yeah, I think I'll just cut till, um, we'll get this second bit of seven. 
Well, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it's definitely having this nice big space to cut six, seven. Okay, one, two, three, four. Six, seven. Okay, this is um, my second one. Um, I think you guys, I'm gonna stop it right there because that was that was only twenty, or we only have fourteen of the seventy-six. So I think that's gonna take forever. So we'll um, do that a little bit again. Um, on Monday. I still think we might be able to sew on Monday, but here, I'll look up there. It does say the jelly roll amount. So a jelly roll is, again, like the layer cake. The layer cake is that 10 inch uh, piece. A jelly roll is a roll of like the 42 strips of fabric now, but they're two and a half inches. So, you know, this is 10 by 10. Now imagine two and a half inches, but the whole entire length of the fabric rolled up in a little ball. That is called a jelly roll. So that's, again, this, this um, pattern calls for all those pre-cut fabrics and we have to make them ourselves. But if you did want a jelly roll, it says um, two solid jelly rolls. So if you were gonna make this, you know, you'd have your, you'd have your layer cake, which is the 10 inch, a stack of 42 10 inch squares you'd have your layer cake with patterns then you'd have your layer cake with the background fabric then you would have two jelly rolls to match your background fabric and then whatever you need for your background or your backing fabric I mean you're on the back of the quilt and then you're binding and here it says um, binding you need a yard of a fabric that you want the color of the binding. I'm going to do that bright green. And for the backing, it says eight and three quarters yards, which seems like a lot, but you know, maybe that's the case. We'll get to that part when we get to it. So anyway, two layer cakes, two jelly rolls, and you should have the front of this quilt done. Again, we're cutting it from yardage. So we got to do all this pre-work before we can even start. But all right, so there's a lot to go on cutting this. Again, we need 76 inches, or not 76 inches, we need 76 two and a half inch cuts. And uh, we, got, we got 14 here started. And then again, we cut all of that, uh, the rest of our fabric. So we are pretty well um, on our way. On Monday, I will come back and we'll uh, cut more of these. So I'm gonna try and flip you guys around here again see how well that works. I'm in this other setup again. Let's, let's give it a go. All right, there we go. Let's tighten that up again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hello again. So uh, again, I'm, I'm visiting my parents. So I'm at uh, the kitchen table here and we'll get to play with these fabrics soon. So, uh, yeah, so I think we're going to just take the week off and work on this project. Take the week off of the Splendid Sampler 2 and do this project instead because I'm just super excited about it. So tomorrow, not tomorrow, on, uh, on um, uh, Monday, oh, here they are. Monday, we will continue cutting our two and a half inch strips and then... Uh, uh, we will start sewing for the rest of the week. And I still think we're going to get this quilt top done by the end of the week, which would be amazing. 
Uh, so awesome, you guys. Thanks again for joining me uh, on location on Finish It Friday. And uh, I will be back again at home in, in the kitchen at home uh, on Monday. So thanks again. Have a uh, great evening, you guys, and a great weekend. Goodbye.